What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Natalie and this is episode 54 of the House Flipper series. How's everybody doing? Hope you guys are all doing well. Hope your weather's nice and fresh and thank you for joining me in this episode. Hope you guys enjoy. Thank you guys for all the support. We are up to 150 plus subscribers. Thank you guys so much. You guys are so awesome. And I really, really appreciate each and every one of your support and each and every one of you. You guys are so, so awesome. If you guys haven't already, be sure to check out the last episode, episode 53 of the House Flipper series to show support in that way. Other than that, let's go ahead and get started with Home Clinic. I heard the news. And I'm all in for the idea of Morgan's Vet Care. The house is more than enough for a family with a cat. So I count on you to prepare a separate space for my home clinic. The first floor seems to be perfect for that. That's why I will need some basic equipment in there. I'll bring the specialized instruments with me later on. I have no clue what to do with the rest of the rooms, though my wife made a to-do list. So you should be fine. I'm sure it will turn out nicely. Good luck. All right. So welcome to the home clinic job. So this house looks really nice from the outside. Yay. I was just about to ask, are we going to have to remove weeds? And we do. So let me go ahead and do a speed up of this. Well, actually, no. Let me know how your day is going. Hope you're doing well. Hope your weather's nice and fresh. Over here, it's still pretty cold. It was supposed to be warming up and... Uh, it just started raining today and oh my gosh it was so cold and you know in my new job that i have right now i literally have to uh be outside not not all the time but um for most of the parts um when i'm trying to find because what i am is i'm an osnd clerk for anybody who doesn't know because i sure as heck didn't know what the heck that was when i uh you know got the job and stuff but um osnd stands for overage shortage and damage clerk so and what that means is basically i'm working at a trucking company and i work with a bunch of freight so a bunch of freight that's returned due to damages shortages um you know something that comes to our terminal because you know it was something that somebody didn't order yada 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 so we have to investigate like, what the heck happened with the freight, what we have to do with it, where it needs to go. <sighs> it's, like, a very <laughs> overwhelming job. There's, like, a lot of information you have to learn. But anyway, so for that, we are always out on what's called the bay, which is basically part of the terminal where we have all the freight. And eh, it's outside, and it's because there's... It's in an area where the dock workers can load up the freight into the trucks. And boy, boy, is it cold. Oh my gosh. And it's going to be super hot probably once we, you know, get into summer and stuff. So, um, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Like, I say that I'd rather it be hot right now. But then once it, once it gets hot, I'm probably going to be like, oh, I wish it was a lot fresher and all that. So, you know. Right now, I'm like, oh, I wish it was warmer, and then once it's gonna be, once it's gonna be all hot, I'm gonna be like, yeah, I wish it was cold. So, let's go ahead and go in and check out what we're doing with the place. Dude, this is a nice house. This is a nice, nice house. So, we do have to do stuff in this living room. Do we have to do anything out here? We do not, but there is a downstairs. It looks like it has three floors so far, so we do have to do stuff here. We don't have to do anything in here. No, not here. And what about over here? Nothing over here. Mm -hmm. What about in here? Okay, so this is the living room. So we'll keep those doors closed just so we know that we do not need to go back in there. There's nothing for us to do in there. Then if we go down here... So we do have to do some stuff in the garage and then let's go back up here because there is a third floor and let's head up here. So we do need to do stuff up here too and uh, we do have to do stuff here. So it looks like there's two doors that lead to the outside. Let's go ahead and open this up just in case and then over here we do need to do stuff here. 
and we do need to do stuff here okay so as always i'm going to start from the top usually and work my way down and then we'll show the results at the end i mean you're going to see the process but you know what i mean you guys know already all right let's go ahead and get started
Alrighty, so we're finally done with this house, this job. So let's go ahead and start from the bottom all the way to the top. So we're starting out in the garage. We had it a lot bigger than it is right now. It used to be a lot wider and very empty. So we built in some walls and made three rooms down here. Actually four, including the back room that we're going to be showing right now. But this is the garage. We have... We have made it smaller and we basically just cleaned up the place and added in the brick that needed to be replaced when we built in the new walls and we added lighting on the ceiling, we added a light switch and the door. So that's all for the garage and if we head over to this section over here, this is one of the other rooms and this is the attached bath that I was talking about. So let's take a look at it really quick. It's a pretty small bathroom. Basically, if you just gotta use the restroom while you're down here playing with the dogs and the cats and everything like that. Um, so we added the tiling on the walls. We kept some of the walls white um, and um, for some reason, I didn't realize. I'm not gonna even bother changing it, but there's a brick wall that we didn't change. We did add this tile and then the rest of the walls were white, so that's okay. Then we added new tiling to the floor. We added in the plumbing system for the toilet, along with the toilet, the toilet paper holder, the towel rack, the mirror, the light switch, the lights on the ceiling, the plumbing system for the towel radiator, along with the towel radiator, the plumbing system for the sink, along with the sink, and finally the door. Then over here in the doggy play area, along with the cat play area, well, it looks more like the cat imprisonment area, because these are cages for cats, um, from what I saw in the description of the item. So this is where you're going to put your cats. We added that. Um, we also added new flooring and new tiles to the floor. Added these fences right here to have some separation kind of. We added new lights to the ceilings along with the light switch and this new screen sliding door. Then we added all this wallpaper that you see around the place. We also added the plumbing systems for the two radiators along with the two radiators. We cleaned up the place. We added this water bowl right here. These two, I think they're showers for some dogs, and then there's the bigger showers to wash the bigger dogs. And there's this little shower to wash the smaller dogs, and then a pee pad in the corner. We did um, add this clock right here. We added two office cabinets for some reason, I don't know why, and that is it for this area. And then finally, the last room down here is going to be this, I guess, entryway slash kind of little mini living room area. So we added new flooring, new cement tiles, I don't know what they're called, they look like cement but they're, yeah, so we added that. We added the replacement brick for the walls because we did add new walls. Then we added this clock, added this door right here to enter the house, I guess it's the front door. Added the welcome mat, the plumbing system for the radiator along with the radiator, the light switch this key holder, this sign, exit sign for some reason, I don't know why, but you know, you do you. And then the lights on the ceiling, the couch, and the coffee table, and that's it for the downstairs area. Let's go ahead and head one floor up. Then over here in this area, let's go ahead and turn on the lights, that way we can get a better look at this. Here, we didn't really do anything besides add this cat tower. We added this cat bowl, and we should fill that with water and food. So we added that feeding bowl and water bowl and then over here under the stairs we added the litter box so that's all that we did on this floor the final floor we are going to look at is the third floor we're going to start out with the patio balcony area so we basically redid quite a bit here so there used to be two doors if you remember one at that end and another one at that end and I think a window like right here in the middle. Uh, so we got rid of the window. We got rid of the two doors at the end. And we replaced it with this huge sliding door right here. Which is really beautiful. We added the switch. We added these lights that are going across the... Not ceiling, but you know, the panels up here. We added these light switches right here in between the light bulbs. Also, okay, yeah, that's, the, that's on. Okay, good. Then we added, you can see these little flower pots going around the side right here. We added all of that. It goes all the way over there to the end. Then we added these two hammocks. So we added new wood flooring. We added these two 
lounge chairs and this table along with this table over here means we've got a few little plants on there too and then these two couches and that's it for the balcony then if we head inside again we um cleaned up the place we added new flooring we added some more brick to replace um the actually no we didn't we just uh cleaned up the place added new flooring added the lights on the ceiling the light switch right here and then this huge bird cage right here then if we go into this room right here we kind of redid the walls a little bit there used to be like openings right here it was just like really weird i don't really remember exactly how it was laid out but we did fix up the walls and stuff so we did add some brick to replace it because we did yeah so we did knock down some walls and stuff so yeah um and then we added this door here we made this room we added the blinds on the windows and then we added the ceiling lights we added this bed put a new flooring added this rug the side table with the lamp the light switch the picture of the red panda this plant right here this wardrobe or cupboard i don't even know it's like a cupboard it said it was a cupboard why i don't know but we added it then we added this habitat for iguanas i think um or maybe snakes i don't know but we also added this wardrobe this table wall desk with the chair the laptop the lamp and then finally this little hamster statue right there super cute and, oh yeah and then we added the wallpaper on the wall along with painting the walls a blue color i think it was it was a blue color then if we go head over to this over here it's the bathroom we added this door we added new tiles on the wall so some tiles regular tiles some are backsplash right here as you can see then we add a new flooring we added this rug the plumbing system for the bath along with the bath the towel rack the two lamps on the ceiling or actually on the walls we actually added all the lamps that are on the walls the plumbing system for the radiator along with the radiator we added the trash can, the plumbing system for the two sinks along with the two sinks, the two towel racks, the mirror right here, the mirror over here, this dresser, the plumbing system for the toilet along with the toilet, and finally the toilet paper holder. And last but not least, over here in this room, we added the door, added the light switch, added the nightstand, the lights, we added the lights on the ceiling, we painted the walls a cream color, I think it was, or maybe it was a peach color. We also added the wallpaper of the doggies. We added new flooring, the rug, the bed, another cover for some reason. We added some curtains on the windows. We added a desk over here in this corner with the lights right there, the laptop, the chair, the books right here, a TV, and finally a wardrobe. So let's go ahead and complete this job 100% of the way for $39,171.41. So I did enjoy doing this job. I usually enjoy doing every job except when it comes to having to panel a lot. This one did have a little bit of paneling, but it wasn't like a lot compared to Jessica's fabulous mansion or whatever it was. That was the worst. It was my nightmare. And I'm just so glad we did that already. We finished it. It's done. It's a done deal and we don't have to go back. All right, so let's check out what they added. It looks like they only added one other job, so that's a bummer because you guys don't get to vote. But, I mean, you know, hey, we still get to see another job, another Pets DLC job, if I could just find this house. Where is this house? I know they added another one, so that one's... Oh, it's right here. Okay, so Pets Haven. And look, it's... uh, What's his name? Morgan's again. Morgan again. So, Morgan's pet care turned out to be a great success. One man operation at first now it runs on a handful of paid employees and volunteers. Many animals were rescued and found new homes. His current problem is the lack of space. Thanks to the local sponsors, he could finally buy an old animal shelter. The next step is its renovation. So, it kind of looks like this is going to be the last job for pets because I don't see any houses any other houses on the map that we haven't completed so i'm kind of sad about that because i i was enjoying having more houses to renovate maybe we'll renovate a train i mean there's a train right there you know you never know some people make houses out of anything you know um but you know i'm pretty sad but i'm also 
kind of excited because that means we're going to be done with all the DLCs and all the houses that we have so far until the farming DLC comes out which I don't think it's come out yet but I could be wrong but anyway um if we still need to wait for that D DLC to come out then we are going to finally be able to start buying homes and selling them and renovating them the way that we'd like and also getting a new house for ourselves and decorating it the way we like that's gonna be so exciting and i hope you guys are excited to see it too i hope you guys are excited to see how i renovate my place and which place i pick let me know what you guys chose you know give me some ideas if you guys would like i would really appreciate that and love that but i hope you guys are excited to see this next job in the next episode pets haven hope you guys have a great rest of your day your night wherever you guys are and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.